Hi, it's Jen and Tammy back with another Notions video today about how to use a twin needle. Yep. Now that was a completely foreign concept to me <laughs> yeah. till just a couple years ago. I'm thinking, why do you need more than one more spool than one needle. at a time? <laughs> um, because I was a quilter. So this was completely foreign to me. I didn't really understand the application until I fell in love with metallic thread. Love that And thread. the possibilities with a single thread are infinite. And then with a double, with a double uh, needle, you can be sewing with two colors at the same time, yes. creating even more intricate designs. And Tammy just grabbed a piece of black fabric mm -hmm and just randomly grab two colors of metallic thread and just look at this. I mean, you really almost Isn't made a new fabric. It is a new that fabric. That you can now make a bag out of, hint, hint. Maybe there's some videos coming up <laughs> in the future. Yeah. Just subscribe to our channel and that way you do uh, make sure you always know when That's we right. have a new notion, a new project, maybe a new bag using some metallic thread. Um, so. The whole idea is we have a lot of fun happening at Shabby Fabrics and we don't want you to miss out. And as we discover these new notions and it makes these world of possibilities of thread so fun to use, we, we're so excited. We have to share it. We, we have, have to, to share it. Now yeah. these are sulky metallic threads, all of these. This is the dream set from, uh, again, all sulky. On this side here, this is the uh, sulky sliver hollow shimmer original metallic. This is what we call the dream set. It is a this dream. This is the big box of crayons. Yeah. <laughs> now behind us, we have, if you want just the sulky slivers, those are available as a set, or you could be getting the hollow shimmer as a set, or the original metallic, and it, or again, if you say, I, I can't stand, I have to have them all, you'll be looking this for the dream set. This is what I want, that's right. So, the fun thing about using a twin needle is we can use two of them together. Like Correct. at Christmas time, yep. I could be using a red and a green. Red and green. Maybe 4th of exactly. July, I could be using a red and a blue. Red and blue. And Correct. you can really make your own fabric or mm -hmm. perhaps em embellish a project that is oh, already done absolutely. and just you want to take it to the yep. next level. Yep. So because I found the twin needle intimidating when someone talk to me about it, mm -hmm. I thought I'd have Tammy show you how to use the twin to needle and she'll okay. be using that in concert with the Thread Director too, okay. because it's a nice way to put spools of thread on and even if you're not going to be using the metallics, it's just a great Correct. way to put two spools of thread, they're feeding at the off at time. the right direction. Correct. So take us, take us there okay. Tammy. Perfect, here we go. So we're going to attach this to our machine on our vertical spool pin or your bobbin winder. Either one, it will attach to either. This little thumb screw just opens up and attaches quickly, just like this. Kind of looks like a goal post, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take my end caps off and I wanna put my thread on so it's coming up and over my spool. That's very important that we do it that way. Not coming underneath. Correct. Okay. I found much better luck with it coming up and over it feeds off cleanly, and I did not have a lot of breakage. It doesn't jump off of the spool. It stays where it's supposed to stay. Gotcha. Okay, now that I have the two, I'm gonna pull these at the same time. You see how the blue one's not pulling? I have this disc a little bit tight. I need to have, both these spools need to be coming off smoothly. Right? Your thread needs to come off evenly and smoothly. Okay? So watch your tension on your disc because you can snug that up. All right, so I'm going to take my two threads and I'm going to thread it just like it's one large thread in my sewing machine. And it's just going to go right down together. And I'm going to come down. Now, I have two needles and Jen has yeah. a twin needle. You can show them. I'm going to put one thread on one side and one thread on the other. So you'll see while she's threading that, there's the single post, so this is gonna fit into, this is the Schmetz uh, Twin Metallic Needle. This is specifically geared toward metallic thread. Now, Cammie, yes. if somebody was going to be using other thread besides the metallics, Yes. I think this is still a great needle it's to use. It's still a great needle. So it it's is. not It'll it's not like you can't use threads. it. Correct. It's just specifically Correct. smooth into the hole where you're feeding in it. Right. So that that's going to have it's it's just so beautifully smooth. So it's not going to be cutting your metallic thread, which is of course more delicate than straight up cotton or any type of other um, thread that is kind of a utility thread for 
piecing quilting. quilting. So yes. you can so see you it's a single shank and then it splits off to the two. So she's got okay. this. So I've got them threaded. Good job. Get this in here. All right, so I'm just gonna take a piece of black fabric and just sew on it and show you how much fun this really, I just, this was great fun the other day. It's like crayons. Oh yeah. Playground. What's fun about this is if you have like school colors too. Oh yeah. You know, if oh, you yeah. have your kids, your their kids school colors are, there. well, oh, say yeah. that they're, you know, blue and gold. Blue and gold. Yeah. It's a cool way to do stuff. It is. And it just stitches right along. So what this is doing, you're thinking, what is happening to my bobbin, right? Your bobbin is actually a zigzag. Oh! You see this bobbin thread? Look at that! It goes back and forth like a zigzag stitch now. So it's important that you have a foot that will do a zigzag stitch. Oh, okay. Okay. So not, not one that's like for cool thing Correct. that might have a really yes. small... you do not well, want a single course. stitch needle plate. Yeah, yeah, it's you not going to work, it, of no, course. <laughs> that one makes on sense. There. Yes, you're going to break a needle. Yeah, okay. of course. So I've set this up to do like zigzag, but I'm just doing a straight stitch. Okay. How fun. And it just stitches right along. So don't Isn't be afraid fun? to no. get that twin needle. Oh no, don't be afraid of it. There's just really fun. nothing to it. No, so if we get easy. our tension, you just make these even. Yep. Thread it, thread it through the machine as if it was one. One in each. One in each, and go, go. and just play. So yeah. get that schmutz. I'm, I am totally gonna do this. Oh yeah. And it's fun. you know, grab those, grab those threads. We have a lot more projects coming your way. We do. And you're, you're just gonna have a lot of fun. So thanks for joining us today to show you how to use a twin needle.